How many days do you feel not in the mood? People ask you, you know, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Some days you wake up in the morning, you're ready to go. Some days you're grumpy. Some days you're angry. Some days you're tired. Some days you're sad. But that question is a sucker question because how you're feeling can be setting you up. Now, we get taught that feelings come first. Now, from a standpoint of empathy, maybe that's the case. But when we follow our feelings, essentially, we give control to our feelings. So if you're angry, you act angry. If you're gluttonous, you follow your feelings. If you're jealous, you follow your feelings. So you see, the thought process and culture some, somehow teaches us that feelings come first. And then from those feelings, we take action based on those feelings. And then those, after we take those actions, it creates an identity. But that's not true. If you ever want to achieve anything, and especially if you want to get out of a place that you are right now, those feelings and the thoughts that created those feelings is what got you there. So going from feelings to actions to identity is not the way to go. Because you are where you are because of that process. See, the question is, who do you want to be? Or who do you want to become? And then base those actions on that. So you want to flip it around and start with identity. Now, that identity may be from a health and fitness standpoint. So you want to be lean. You want to be strong. You want to have endurance. You want to be healthy. It may be how you act towards others, your children, your significant other. Who do you want to be like in business, in philanthropy, in giving? So that's the identity. You choose who you want to become. And from that identity, now you take actions based on the identity that you want to become. And see, the thing is, once you take those actions, guess what? It creates the feelings that you want. So turn it upside on the head to like really get what you want out of life. And the thing is, to take those actions, you need courage. But the thing is, once you take courage, fears start dropping away. So you need to take courageous action to become the person that you want to be. And that will create the feelings that you want. Rather than letting your feelings control you and saying, well, I stayed in because I was tired today. Or I just didn't do that extra work because I was anxious or stressed out. Or I was triggered by that food and I was gluttonous, so I ate it. You see, that's how feelings can take control of you. But you have to understand that you're in control of yourself and your actions. And that's what's going to create the feelings and identity that you want. So decide. Choose who you want to be, who you want to become, and align those actions with, the, with that person or, or whoever it is that you want to be. And you'll get the feelings that you want, and you'll succeed.